as modern movie fans are suffering from an embarrassment of riches, there are simply more great films available at our fingertips at any moment than anyone can realistically watch in a lifetime. And so it's inevitable that some movies end up slipping through the cracks and getting passed by for one of many reasons. Perhaps most commonly, that they just didn't have enough marketing might to stand out in a crowded field. But on purely their own merits away from the business side of the industry, these 10 incredible movies absolutely need to be seen by as many film lovers as possible. So with that in mind, I'm Ellie with What Culture here with 10 amazing movies nobody knows about. Number 10. Brick it's truly bizarre that despite Ryan Johnson becoming a household name thanks to both Star Wars The Last Jedi and the Knives Out franchise, that his 2005 directorial debut Brick hasn't been rediscovered in recent years. A staggeringly fearless and audacious first film, Brick is a beguiling mystery thriller in which high school student Brendan investigates the disappearance of his ex-girlfriend Emily. The genius hook of Johnson's film is that it's effectively a classically styled film noir transplanted onto a modern high school setting, made most evident by the intentionally affected hard-boiled dialogue. While it would be easy for such a concept to fall flat on its face or feel a bit student filmy, Johnson's atmospheric direction, twisty storytelling and the efforts of a remarkable ensemble cast make this a rich, fiercely original take on the contemporary thriller. Even with all the success that Johnson has had in recent years, there's a fair argument to be made that Brick remains his very best film. Number 9. Thunder Road Adapted from filmmaker Jim Cummings' own award-winning 2016 short of the same name, Thunder Road is an excellent dramedy about a grieving, rage-filled police officer Jim struggling to cope with both the death of his mother and recent divorce. As director, writer and star, Cummings proved himself to be a terrifically talented man, bringing pathos and nuance to a prickly character who audiences might not be immediately compelled to sympathise with. Cummings' razor-sharp performance as a man wrangling with his own masculinity is buffeted by some truly excellent filmmaking, especially his daring use of single takes for many of the grandstanding dramatic exchanges, a trick borrowed from his original short which was shot in a single 13-minute take. For as magnificently crafted as Thunder Road is for its mere $200,000 budget, it's not known by nearly enough film lovers. Number 8. Beyond the Infinite Two Minutes Beyond the Infinite Two Minutes is something of a spiritual successor to 2017's One Cut of the Dead, another low-budget Japanese genre film centred around supernatural phenomena unfolding over a seemingly single take. But this film is sci-fi rather than horror, following a cafe owner who discovers that his apartment's computer monitor can display two minutes into the future from the perspective of a TV in his cafe downstairs, while the cafe TV displays events from two minutes in the past. It's a brain-breaking concept which sends the central characters on a mesmerising odyssey as they discover inventive ways to create larger windows into both the past and the future. Combined with the film being near-seamlessly presented as a single take, it results in a technically virtuosic piece of work in spite of its meagre budget. Shot on an iPhone and clocking in at a drum-tight 71 minutes, this is a no-nonsense affair that again proves that creativity will prevail no matter the scant resources a filmmaker might otherwise be working with. Number 7. The Woodsman Though it isn't difficult to deduce why this brilliant Kevin Bacon starring drama wasn't exactly a multiplex hit, it's nevertheless a laudably bold and provocative meditation on a deeply disturbing subject. In The Woodsman, Bacon stars as Walter, a convicted child molester who returns home after 12 years in prison and attempts to start his life anew. Naturally, many simply aren't interested in watching a movie from the point of view of someone who has committed such horrible acts. But such is the very point of the movie. Are you able to sympathise with this man? And despite this enormous emotional hurdle for audiences, Kevin Bacon's Oscar-worthy performance ensures the film largely succeeds, lending humanity to a person who would be keenly dehumanised as a monster by most. To be clear, this is certainly a deeply uncomfortable and squirm-inducing film at times, and one that probably wouldn't get made in 2023. It's not a film you'll want to watch often, if even more than once, but it is an exceptionally brave character study with a magnificent lead performance from Bacon. Number 6. The Wackness in 2008's The Wackness, Josh Peck stars as Luke Shapiro, a troubled young man who deals weed to Dr. Jeffrey Squires in exchange for therapy sessions, all while developing a crush on Squires' stepdaughter, Steph. 
This film absolutely nails the vibe and atmosphere of a summer in mid-90s New York City, but what truly makes it sing is the typically remarkable work from Ben Kingsley, and more unexpectedly at the time, Peck, who, fresh off of his tenure on Drake and Josh, gives a perceptive performance atypical of this well-trod genre. Even if you can't directly identify with Luke's own journey, there's still plenty to relate to here for anyone who's ever struggled with transitioning into adulthood. That is, basically everyone. Thanks to its witty dialogue and sharp performances, The Wackness is a rare coming-of-age film which truly transcends the formula to deliver something that feels distinct and very much its own thing. Number 5. Europa Report Audiences often decry the lack of truly imaginative sci-fi fare out there, but then did anyone show up to support Europa Report when it came out a whole decade ago? A rare sci-fi outing produced for just $10 million, this film cannily adopts the found footage format to document humanity's first crewed mission to Jupiter's moon Europa, where they intend to seek out sources of life. It's a tricky concept to pull off with such little money, yet the director evidently makes every penny count, delivering an impressively stylish, tense and ultimately terrifying piece of work. Aided by thoroughly plausible performances from its cast and a subdued naturalistic tone, this is a found footage film which keeps its feet on the ground for the most part and in turn proves all the more unnerving as a result. As a testament to the pulse-quickening fear of the unknown beyond the bounds of Earth, this is compulsively effective. Number 4. Mean Creek Despite receiving two Independent Spirit Awards, 2004's coming-of-age drama Mean Creek pretty much fell off the face of the Earth within a few short years of its release. Yet it remains one of cinema's most savagely authentic and well-crafted depictions of bullying, revolving around a group of teenagers whose plan to get revenge on their bully goes horribly wrong. Undeniably inspired by the works of Stephen King, especially Stand By Me, this is a disturbingly frank examination of teenage strife whose potentially heightened melodramatic throughline is brought straight back down to earth by the efforts of a first-rate cast. A haunting dark drama that pulls no punches all the way to its chilling conclusion, Mean Creek is a film that desperately deserves more eyes on it per its unflinching narrative and deep characterization. Number 3. The Man From Earth 2007's sci-fi drama The Man From Earth is a fascinating beast indeed. The $200,000 film did enjoy something of an uptick in popularity due to a pirate copy leaking online mere weeks before its official release, with even producer Eric D. Wilkinson thanking pirates for raising the movie's profile. Indeed, the movie, about a university professor who claims to be 14,000 years old, was illicitly distributed online by pirates, which, in conjunction with rave reviews, led to it enjoying a brief but fleeting period of buzz. Yet just over 15 years later, the movie is more or less forgotten, which, considering the quality of its enigmatic screenplay and brilliantly ambiguous central performance, is an absolute travesty. Though a sequel was eventually released in 2017, it failed to make much of a dent at all, in part because the original movie had largely evaporated from the cultural consciousness and also the fact that it was a huge step down in quality from the first. Number 2. Spontaneous it's easy to picture another timeline where Spontaneous was a breakout hit at the speciality box office and cemented its status as a cult classic. Yet this fantastic coming-of-age black comedy had the misfortune of being quietly dumped on streaming by Paramount in late 2020. It makes little sense that the studio barely gave this thing a theatrical release at all given the timelines of its subject matter, pertaining to both the then-raging pandemic and also America's never-ending issues with gun violence in schools. Ignore the movie's undeniably terrible posters, which bafflingly paint it as a cloying teen rom-com, because Spontaneous' attention-grabbing hook sees students at a high school randomly start exploding from the inside out for seemingly no rhyme or reason. Filmmaker Brian Duffield uses this delirious setup to explore mortality and fear of the unknown in a highly original way, girded by excellent central performances from Catherine Langford and Charlie Plummer as two star-crossed teens caught in the middle of the bloodily explosive epidemic. Yet for all its creativity and how expertly it mines emotion from an inherently absurd concept, it's infuriating how Paramount simply sent it out to die. Number 1. Tyrannosaur if you can get over its portentous title, which likely didn't help it find an audience at all, Paddy Considine's Tyrannosaur is one of the most evocative British directorial debuts of the century so far. 
This bleak but brilliant drama follows a self-destructive widower, Joseph, who crosses paths with Hannah, a kindly charity shop worker who is herself struggling to escape an abusive marriage. So Tyrannosaur isn't exactly feel-good filmmaking, and fair warning, not one but two dogs die in it, but it is an uncommonly transfixing study of two deeply wounded people from wildly different walks of life forging an unexpected bond. As a picture of uncontrolled rage, Peter Mullen gives an awards-worthy performance as Joseph, and Olivia Colman typically delivers as a picture of fraught compassion, and Eddie Marson is also terrifying as Hannah's abusive husband, James. It's easy to see why Tyrannosaur flew under the radar per its tricky subject matter, but in his debut, Considine proved himself a tremendously skilled dramatist willing to go down some deeply unpleasant rabbit holes. And that concludes our list. Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell. Also, head over to Twitter and follow us there, and I can be found across various social medias just by searching Ellie Littlechild. I've been Ellie with What Culture. I hope you have a magical day, and I'll see you real soon.